hi guys welcome back to Sherman's kitchen happy sunday hope you guys are having a wonderful day if you're visiting my channel for the first time i would like to welcome you to my channel today i'm going to be making a very well-known guyanese dinner and this is vegetable cook up rice with some fried banga mary on top it is sunday we have some very gloomy weather here in ontario and this is what my mind is calling for so if you want to see how i'm doing this come on down and let's get cooking so before we start cooking this pot let's get to the garden and pick some fresh ingredients i'm picking some green onions fresh pick green onions and I'm just going through the ones that are very very big the smaller ones I'm leaving for next time I'm just gonna try to get enough for this dinner today all the rainfall that we had lately the green onions are just springing up look at how big and nice this one is I have so much in the garden to pick. I already made a whole bunch of green seasoning, but I like to pick fresh every day because it is so nice and delicious in the cooking. So now I'm gonna go pick some flat leaf parsley. Look how fresh this is. So nice and fresh. It's a very nice feeling to come in the garden and pick fresh to cook your meals. So now I'm gonna pick some fresh fine thyme because this goes very well with cook up rice. And this is one of my favorite ingredients to cook with. When I'm picking fine time i like to pick the harder stems those ones are the fully mature ones because the young ones we will give a chance to grow more So now that I have my green onions, thyme, and my flat leaf parsley, or in Guyana we say celery, we're gonna start making this cook up rice now. So here I have some fresh ingredients for the vegetable cook up rice. I'm gonna chop these up, and these, some of them are what I picked, just picked from the garden. I'm gonna chop them up, and then I'll come back and show you the other ingredients that I'm adding to this dish. So here are some of the vegetables I'm using in the cook up rice today. I have some cabbage, I have some bok choy, I have here one carrot cut thinly sliced, I have some okra and some pumpkin. This is a vegetable cook up rice. We wanna make it nice, flavorful, and tasty to all my vegetarian friends this is a vegetarian friendly dish as well so in the pot I have about a tablespoon of oil first of all I like to go in with my onions and then we're gonna cook the onions until they're nice and translucent before we add any other ingredients now our onion has been cooking up and I like to add a nice generous amount of onion when I'm making cook up rice because it adds a really nice flavor to the dish. So the next step now I'm going to add my rice into here. So I wash the rice before I'm adding it to the pot. So now we're going to mix this in, the rice with the onion. And while the rice still has some of that water that I wash the rice with, I'm going to start building flavor now into this pot. 
So I'm going to go in first with my salt. So now I'm going to be adding some black pepper. I add two teaspoons of salt, but as the pot is cooking, I will taste and see if I have to regulate that or if it's okay with two teaspoons. Depends on how much rice you're cooking. So now we're going to mix the black pepper in and I can tell that the rice, the water from the rice is starting to evaporate but will still continue to add flavor. I like to add some of the thyme now. That's fresh thyme from my garden. And I also like to go in with a generous amount of thyme. This smells so nice. In here with that thyme. So I'm gonna go in now with some Chinese spice and this is optional. If you don't like Chinese spice, you can certainly leave this out. So, Chinese spice. I'm gonna add some um, cook up seasoning. This really adds a good flavor. And these are all optional. It's up to you what you like in your cook up rice. So I have about a teaspoon in here. I'm gonna add all of it. And then I I find a seasoning for rice and peas. And I wanna give this a try. And cook up rice is pretty much like rice and peas. So I'm gonna be adding some into here as well. Just about a teaspoon to try this flavor out. We're gonna mix this up. Ooh, this smells so, so good. I'm gonna add my carrots. I like to add it at this point. We're gonna mix and cook up rice. It's all about adding flavors, building flavors, and everything that you like, you can add to this dish. It can go well with any kind of meat of your choice. You can do a vegetable cook up rice and it's always amazing. So there is so much that you can do with cook up rice. You can play around. There is never a wrong way with cook up rice I find because everybody have their own twist. I'm going to be adding now some marid manpo and I have the frozen marid manpo because it's very hard to get fresh one here in Canada. So whenever I find some fresh one, I usually freeze them to add into dish like these. And this smells so good. I'm gonna add now my parsley and the broadleaf thyme. So see how flavor keep building for this dish. We keep building flavors. And we're gonna mix and mix and because it starts sticking to the bottom now I'm gonna add some coconut milk because we all know that this dish goes very very well with coconut milk that adds a extra rich creamy flavor to this dish so I'm gonna add a little bit of Chinese sauce for color it's like two teaspoons and now I'm gonna add my coconut milk and this is the coconut milk from one fresh coconut. 
I'm going to be adding some water. And I'm going to add that extra water. And for the water, it depends on how much rice you're cooking. I have two cups of rice in here. So I just added three cups of water, but I'm going to be adding more. You can always add as you go. So now the next thing I'm going to do is add my black eyed peas. Today I'm making this cook up with black eyed peas. I already soaked this overnight and I boil it. So now I'm going to be adding two cups of rice and two cups of cooked black eyed peas. So now I'm going to be adding my pumpkin because we want everything to start cooking at this point. And this is the frozen pumpkin, but it's gonna get soft soon. I'm gonna be adding my bok choy and my cabbage. And the cabbage will add a nice sweetness to the dish. I'm gonna be adding my okra. But first of all, let me mix this up a little. This pot smells so good. And I'm gonna have to add some more water because everything has to cook until they're nice and soft. So I'm gonna add about two more cups of water. And we can always add as we go. So I'm gonna cover this pot and I, I'm gonna cook it on medium to low heat. And we'll come back and check it out in a few. But I wanna add my pepper. So I have three Mariuri pepper, oh, stems. I don't like to cook the stem. This one don't have stem. And then I'm gonna add my frozen okra. We're gonna cover this and let everything cook and we'll come back in about five minutes to check. So let's check on our cook up rice now. Wow, I have it on like real low heat. I have my pepper here and I can see all those veggies. I didn't add more color because I want our vegetable to stand out in this dish today. So now I think everything is cooked. I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna start preparing the fish that I am eating on top of this dish. So right at the end, before I turn off my stove, I'm gonna add my green onions. I like to add the green onions right before I serve this dish because the green onions have that nice delicious taste that will still bite into when we take a mouthful. So I'm gonna cover this now and let it just steam in the rice. So now I have these lovely fine bangamiri and they're so, so sweet. I'm gonna season them. First of all, I'm going in with some black pepper. Add some salt. And then I'm gonna add one pack of Cezanne seasoning. This will give a nice flavor and color. And then I'm gonna add some green seasoning in here. So I'm gonna go in with a nice portion of green seasoning because this gives a really nice flavor about five tablespoon I'm gonna mix in this well and then we're gonna start frying these beautiful little bangamiri so those little bangamiri is frying up 
I'm gonna let them cook until they're nice and golden brown on both sides and then these babies will be ready to serve up with my dinner. So my fried bangamiri is done. They are looking very nice and delicious. Small bangamiri really goes nice. Vegetable cook up rice or even some kitchri. So now I'm gonna be slicing up some cucumbers to go with our cook up rice because this is what I know goes very well with cook up rice, some nice hot pepper sauce. And here I'm gonna slice a tomato and something else that goes nice is a few pieces of lettuce today. I don't have any lettuce, but I have a lot of vegetable in the cook up rice. So we're gonna make that work. So here is my Sunday dinner, my vegetable cook up rice. Look how nice and rich it is with all the vegetable just popping out all over. I like to serve mine with the cucumber, tomatoes. Here are those beautiful fried bangamiri. So I have enough here for all my viewers and all my subscribers. So you guys, please bring your Coke, your coffee, whatever drink you like, and let's have a nice Sunday dinner. So here is my beautiful Sunday dinner. I have the portion here for my vegetarian friends that have all the vegetable in this cook up rice. And I have some extra fresh vegetables on the side. I have my tomato, avocado, and my cucumber. And here I took the smallest ones on the plate because I love the small bangamiri. So guys, let me know what you think of this dinner tonight. For me, a good cook up rice needs some nice hot pepper sauce. So I'm gonna put a lot on mine. And then I will enjoy mine. And let me know if you guys like this recipe. Please give me a thumbs up because it is one of my go-to dishes when I feel like having something nice and comforting. So let me take my big mouthful now for all my viewers and subscribers. I'm going in for the vegetarian version for all my vegetarian friends. Cheers to you guys. This is hot. Cheers. Mm. You can't say you're not happy after taking a mouthful of that. I went in, get a bite of cabbage and the pumpkin. Oh my God such a sweet flavor add to the dish and this dish is so filling you don't need a lot i surely have to go for a walk after this so i'm gonna go in for my banga mary and these ones are so small you only have to break them in half just pull them apart like that and right in the middle here you will get out that middle bone it's so easy to eat and then they have some tiny little bones in the back easy to get out and everything else you can eat. So I'm gonna go in for another mouthful here again for the Banga Mary. Cheers. Mm. I'm so happy. This is such a good Sunday dinner. So I want you guys to have a wonderful evening. I hope you guys did something wonderful and beautiful today. Please. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please consider doing so. Until then, I'm gonna enjoy this plate of food. Stay blessed, stay safe, bye for now.